you know, obviously, uh, I thought, uh, you know, really good overall or overall performance, offensive and defensively, probably one of our better performances of the year on both sides of the court. Um, you know, the intensity and energy the guys started the game with, I thought was really vital. It was a build up. I mean, we'd been practicing for so long and guys were really excited to not only start conference play and you know, playing a rival like UConn, I think got them excited, but also, you know, we did a lot of stuff on the court and off the court this past week to continue to build not only the chemistry of our team, but how to handle different scenarios. And uh, was really proud of, um, of, our, of our older guys. You know, Trey Scott and Jaron Cumberland were, um, you know, didn't get rattled. Uh, no matter what happened in the game, I thought they kept us under control and kept us in the right spots. Uh, fed Chris Vote the ball where he's really good. And, uh, you know, I really commend those guys for what they did. And then the last piece is I thought everybody did their job, you know. Keith didn't have a great night, but Jay wasn't great coming off the bench like he typically is, but they all did their job. You know, Harvey came in and did his job in the first half. McNeil was, did his job. Everybody that came off the bench did their job in a way that allowed – when you do that, it allows you to put – to play to your capabilities. And uh, I felt like our guys did that, and I felt like we really took care of the ball down the stretch, which was another added bonus uh, that we've been working on and uh, as a testament to our guys. Does it feel like things are, are really trending in the right direction at this point? Yeah, I think, you know, obviously it's – it's the game of basketball is a singular moment. You know, it's it's not momentary. It doesn't continue to last necessarily. But I do feel like guys are really understanding more of what we need to do. I think they're understanding more of how to play with each other. Uh, I think what you saw is really probably the biggest sign of our system, the full court pressing, the half court defense, going late in the shot clock, the pushing of the pace. It was kind of all put together a little bit more tonight, and I think guys are getting more excited about it and having a better understanding. And listen, that's a natural progression, right? Uh, you, you hope that it continues, and it, it will continue if those veterans that I mentioned uh, continue the leadership that they had this course of this past week and in tonight's game. Earlier this week, you talked about your team needing to fight through adversity, learning how to fight through adversity. We will look at how big you guys were up. Yeah. Yeah, there wasn't a lot, but I tell you what, about the seven minute mark, about seven ten, I think there's a timeout, and they had started making some shots and cut it to a, a manageable uh, deficit for them to come back on. And I challenged our guys to come out of the timeout to really put their focus defensively to the next media timeout, which had been the four minute under four. They did it all the way to the end of the clock. So I really thought that was a step forward. Uh, we're going to have a lot of adversity going on the road, obviously, but I thought that was one of the steps we took tonight. Well, yeah, five assists, two turnovers, uh, 29 minutes. There were 20, what, I think my glass is 27 minutes. He played outstanding. Uh, you know, he's tough-minded. Uh, he'll be mad he missed one of those free throws at the end. Um, he, he just, he's got, a, he's got a, a swagger about him and a toughness about him that uh, comes not only through the performance and through his effort, but it's also something he's, he's kind of he's got a little bit. Yeah, no question. I thought him and him and Chris McNeil were outstanding in the fact that they were two of nine, but we don't need a lot of scoring from them. We need them to control the game. And I was concerned coming into the game about their full court pressure on those guys, and I thought they handled it really well. Well, I think we got some pretty good finishers at the rim. You know, Trey Scott's really athletic. Chris Vogt's really good at finishing. I thought, you know, our coaches, our, you know, Coach G and Coach Dwyer work with the big guys. I thought they were outstanding this week in their preparation of how to, you know, maneuver around the rim and find angles and use their shot fakes. The other piece is we open the floor. And when you open the floor, it minimizes how many bodies are at the rim. Okay? So you can go finish over one shot blocker versus two shot blockers makes it a little bit easier. They did have 13 blocks. Are you happy with the, the way? Did they really? I guess we didn't do a good job then, do we? No, but, but guys didn't. A lot of times when you see that many blocks, teams will get timid, and it yeah. seemed like your guys continued to attack. You set me up. I agreed with you. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, some of those shot blocks, I thought you know we got raked a little bit, but that's fine. You know, I, one of the things as a coach, I never talk about block shots because I don't want you to be timid. I want you to go attack the rim. So they had 13 block shots, but Trey Scott and Chris Vote are starting four and five men were, what, 13 of 15 from the field. So, yeah, yeah. So you know, I'll take thirteen to fifteen, whatever you just said, um, and they they can have the thirteen blocks. For Chris, you go 
really see a lot of your targets close, especially early in the game. Obviously, these teams haven't played against him. Did you take guys by surprise? Is he maybe stronger, bigger than? Yeah, them? you'd have to ask them that. Uh, you know, the comments that I made to Chris before the game was. Okay, I felt like he'd settled a little bit. I felt like he'd gotten a little comfortable in the course of the last two weeks, uh, particularly in the Iowa game. And uh, I challenged him. You know, the great thing about Chris and our relationship is I've known him for a long time. And, you know, it, it just takes one conversation. And uh, he stepped up to the challenge tonight. Now it feels like a little bit this team has kind of learned how to be dangerous in the last few games. Uh, is that a big key to a team to get into a morale or to have a big common front is feeling that dangerous edge of the team? Yeah, the, we, we, talk, we use the word powerful. Uh, we talk about you never know how powerful you are until you got all the guys going in the right direction. Leave agendas out, leave different things out. Let's get six. We, we call it 16 strong, is what we call it. Six, if 16 strong come and do their job each and every day, that's what we're capable of doing. Now, again, game planning off nights by certain guys, we got to be able to fight through those times. Um, I, I like the direction we're going, uh, but we got to come in tomorrow and practice and be excited about practicing to get ready for Saturday. Yeah, it, it is our identity. You know, I, I think there's a misconception that, you know, I didn't coach defense over the last several years. I mean, we were, we're pretty, pretty darn good statistically defensively. So I think there's, a, I think there's, you know, I think there's residue all over the place in terms of, you know, the defensive toughness uh, with everybody in our program as well as our offensive execution. Uh, I think they're understanding it. You know, I think they're they're gaining more of a confidence level. I we did make some adjustments. You know, our full court defense. We made some adjustments to our personnel that I thought also helped. And uh, and uh, but it's a credit to our guys. Again, it's a credit to those veterans. Those veterans have really been good over the course of the last several weeks. Well, the numbers obviously see it. Uh, he, the guys respect him. The guys are excited about what he brings. You know, I think there was a uh, concern that we wouldn't have anything in the middle. Uh, you know, when when we took over the, the job, and we we have we got a pretty good player down there. And uh, the guys recognize and they get in the ball now. He's got to get better. He's got to take some steps. He ran the floor. You know, uh, twenty three runs like a deer. He is an outstanding runner, right? And Chris ran with him pretty much the entire game. Now we need we need Jay to also follow that up, and that's a pretty good one two punch. Thank <laughs> you.